This is my raised garden bed. Underneath there is a pump. There's my compost heap. It goes through compost, goes through scraps. Here's the overflow with things on it to stop mozzies building up. Just to make sure, can't have mozzies. I've got strawberries, um, there's a blueberry there, trying that. Obviously tomatoes, they're little ones. I've got some watermelon just starting here that I intend to trail off the uh, bed and sprawl around my backyard. They're capsicums. There's some Hiberno chili. Uh, that's about it really. How it works is down the bottom there's about oh, 150 to 100 mil gap that I've spaced up with 100 mil diameter. Um, what do you call it? A slotted drainage pot. Then over the top of the slotted drainage pipe, I put some plastic tiles that are used to retain. Um, soil on a slope and they sort of lock together so I just did that then on top of that some geotextile then on top of that dirt um, I got the dirt wrong originally I used garden soil that was too heavy with the constant watering it just packed down solid and nothing worked actually it was a bit of a disaster so I dug all that out and I put in roughly a one-third mix of that dirt uh, basically full-on black compost which I bought this stuff and mulch that was medium mulch so one-third medium mulch this sort of stuff here one-third of that one-third of soil and one third of the compost and a bit better in the light this is what you end up with it's sort of a nice reasonably friable soil there you go did I see a worm? there we are there's a worm seem to be growing a lot of them so yeah, now obviously the water's going to get toxic if you leave it in there too long. So what I do is once a week I pump it out onto my fig tree. That's actually happening right now. That fig tree's never done better. <laughs> Than this year. Uh, so I pump it right out, leave that pumping for about, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. And then I come back and I, the pump's obviously on now. It's got a float switch on it so it won't overrun. So I just, uh, that's the configuration for pump out. Just flip those valves around and it pumps out onto this ring, PVC ring. Um, yeah. Oh, and the pump sits down in a sump. So it's got a sump underneath there. 
uh, as well. I should have mentioned that earlier. So, yeah, there you go. I think that's everything. Cheers. I forgot to mention that um, I water it, in inverted commas, from the mains half an hour once a week. And that gives me enough in the sump to do two hours of watering easily every day and still have plenty of water to pump out at the end of the week. I could probably adjust that down, but um, yeah, there you go. That's my watering schedule in summer. Uh, is I just set it for 7 p.m. start, 9 p.m. finish. The pump pumps water up to those rings, which have all got holes underneath, and um, those pipes, and uh, out it goes for two hours, and that allows the water to soak right across the bed. I think in hindsight, I probably should have done poly rings, and done two or three poly rings, uh, you know, going out from a... Uh, a central leader sort of thing rather than this arrangement here I think I I over designed it just a bit <laughs> poly would have been much cheaper and easier anyway that's probably but you know this was the first go you, you know you, you live and learn and make lots of mistakes on your first go so yeah there you go